Do you have another question? Um, how do you divide a multifamily into condominiums? Well, I think that's pretty uh, much just a, a rewrite of the deed in most most places. And you need the documents. I to think you need to know about local ordinances and uh, I mean in Newton, Massachusetts and surrounding areas uh, if it's a multi-unit building uh, it's just a rewriting of the deed. And then you have the, the, the rules and regulations with the condo association. Well you have to create condo, condo documents. documents. Yeah. Uh, architectural drawings, condo documents, all to be uh, registered along with the deed. And uh, the easiest way to find out if you're doing it right is to get a buyer who needs financing because the bank will tell you what, what you to need. do. <laughs> and then uh, I had a situation where it was a multifamily, it was a it had just been condoed out to three units. And in order for the buyer to get the financing, it needed to be above, I forget what the percentage was, around, I think it was 70% or mm -hmm. 60% owner-occupied right. at, the, at the closing. So If it's 70% and it's three units, then you have to have all three close all at the same time. Correct, and that's what we had to do. We had to close all three of them at the same time and coordinate it. Always so good that's to something to keep in mind. Always good to get three cash buyers and then you don't have that yeah. problem. 